Alex Adams show. Back again, unfortunately. I don't want to do this anymore. Me neither. <laughs> I just want to go home. A friend of mine said, a good friend of mine the other day said, he didn't think it was good that we recorded this outside. He said you could hear planes and stuff. And I told him our last episode was a much better audio quality. Yeah, why do he say that to you? Because he's a mean person. He's being mean. Who was that? Nate, give, give out his I, address. I have more cars than he does. He's jealous. Wow, that makes sense. He doesn't. We're doing things different here. We're, we're doing it worse, okay? We're changing the game, <laughs> making the game worse. Because we don't, I don't want to do this if we don't do it a bad, do a bad job at this. Exactly. Okay? If we don't make it way worse, <laughs> then anyone else can do it. I don't like. We need to touch grass. Yeah. We need to be in the. We're not on the grass. He's jealous that my yard is. I have an actual backyard. Yeah. Which he does not. He doesn't. No. <laughs> Hasn't. Doesn't even have. Doesn't even have grass at his house. What a joke. Well, he's got grass. You know. Yeah, but he doesn't have. Grass he could do stuff on. Yeah, it's just show grass. Yeah, well, and this is show grass, but the but you could do the dogs. Yeah, the dogs. I walk out there sometimes. The dogs poop there. Yeah, it's good. It serves. It's fun. It, it's it's grass you can. It's functional grass. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, did you ever see like the neighborhoods where they have just all the fake turf? Yeah, and it just looks like an apocalyptic horror. Yeah, well, all the California man, they're all like that. A lot of the houses out there it kind of freaks me out. But then yeah. part of me is like, oh, you don't have to do anything. Yeah. It's, it's kind of nice. nice yeah. But it's also like. I, was, I didn't think about that. It's a good point. I don't. I, I, yeah. It's better to have the real thing, I feel like. Yeah. Even though Florida grass is kind of gross. It's like that crab, like rough crab grass kind of. Yeah, it's fine. It's gross. It's so gross. <laughs> Compared to grass up north, it's, bad. it's, it's gross. Yeah. But it has to be because it has to survive the. It has to survive Floridian people using it. Let's blow right here, guys. Blow right in the mic. See, like my my friend, he, he thinks this is some kind of. He's a podcaster himself. Ugh. For the past couple years, I hate those people. Podcasters, they're gross. And he thinks he's thinking about like you know business mindset, grind set, yeah, normal ways of doing things. Yeah, that's not what this business thought my business has ever been about. My business has always been about doing as little as possible and making as much money as possible and being, yeah, being very lazy, but making something cool and autistic. Yeah. Well, it's, that's the Alex Adams school of business. Yeah. The principles. I shouldn't have any money at all. Don't do a lot. Yeah. Make a lot. Yeah. Spend all of it. Well, just do a lot in a very li- in a very simple way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that, you would say that's your business. Yeah. That's your whole model is do a lot, but like real simple. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it works. <laughs> it a hundred percent works. But I don't know if I don't know if a lot of people- I just I mean I just can't. I I showed you some because I I I told Nick to to blow up on social media to get this podcast. The mainstream, we have to, we have to cut up all these clips. We have to have multiple cameras. We have to have close-ups of, of my face, his face. Ugh. We have to post all kinds of videos on TikTok and YouTube Shorts, be sick. and put, you know, put captions underneath and different fonts. And he doesn't want to do that. It's me breathing deeply. Anxious. He doesn't want to. He's my only employee. He doesn't want to do a good job. He doesn't want to work. No. I bought him an AMG. I bought him a C63. S. He did. He did. It's gonna be a Mazda soon. I'm gonna. I'm gonna transform. <laughs> believe this, man. I'm gonna transform it into a Mazda. But see, I I can't. And even though we should, I should make force you to do that, or force you to hire someone else to do that. I can't. This can't be a cringe. Yeah, I can't stomach kind of podcast. That's I can't. A, I, I can't. Be, I can't. You know. I can't just have like a girl in here and be like, "Does size matter?" No, it doesn't. It's your. It's your personality. That's what makes what's everyone the wildest. Come. What's the wildest sex you've ever had with men, women? What, what, tell, tell us about it. Can we get like, some, I want to get like some like, uh, do you like the party? I love the party. I want, what? I want to get like some, you know, like what's the hardest you've ever been fucked? And she's like the IRS. 
You remember that chick we shot with who, who never paid taxes in her whole life? Yeah. Like yeah, four yeah. months ago. God bless her. I hope she's doing I hope she's doing well. Yeah, she's a good woman. I hope she's prospering. But that's the thing, man, is like you I don't just, have to pay taxes. Yeah, Guys, you, don't. you don't have to pay your taxes. Whether or not some things might happen to you, yeah, sure. Things are gonna happen to you regardless in this life. Yeah. Whether a couple of black hawks show up at your property to make sure they get what's what's rightfully owed to them. <laughs> don't worry about that. Enjoy the money. But like that's the thing, man. If like I just Anytime I see one of those clips with the captions and the jump cuts and the weird shit Photoshop on the screen, I, I want to do bad things to myself. And it's like, fundamentally, the thought of doing that, I don't want to do it. I, I don't want to do it. I, 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 I would do it. If, it. if it guaranteed that we were going to make a ton of money doing this. See, the thing is, this is a schizo podcast anyway. Yeah, it's but that's not the thing. like, you know. No one should watch this. No No one should listen to this. No one should spend any time indulging in this. It's a complete waste. It's like, we're just doing this because we'd waste our time anyway. We waste our time just going rambling to each other all the time anyway. So yeah, I almost fell in the lake the other night. We were talking on the phone and we were talking about business stuff. I want to jump in the lake. It's filled with fertilizer and nitrates. So it's like, that's the thing is like, we're not really trying to do this for a job. It's funny though. How many people like, I mean, because I've told a few people that I know. I'm doing a podcast and he, a lot of normal people's ideas of a podcast. It's when I tell them anything about this, they get immediately confused. Yeah. Like I went to a meeting the other night and uh, a recovery meeting for, for people to huff gasoline and, and, and drink too much. Good Americans. We call them good Americans here on the Alex Adams show. And I met an older gentleman and you know, uh, he was, he's looking at my Rolls Royce. He was very impressed. And then he remembered he asked me what I did for a living, and he remembered that I did, you know, adult naked booby things, sex stuff. Okay. And was like, That's gross. Oh, that's, oh. You're going to hell. You ever think about doing, and I was like, Well, yeah, I'm doing some new stuff, started a podcast. And he's like, What's it about? I was like, A whole lot of nothing. <laughs> like everything on the internet, <laughs> fucking nothing, <laughs> wasting your fucking time. And then he was like, It's not about recovery or, or anything. And I'm like, Nope. Why would it be? What's there to recover from? It's just me rambling with my best friend in my backyard. That's how it's, but that's what, a, in my mind, that's what a podcast is That's the is podcast we listen to or like that. Yeah. It's like, I don't, a lot of people, you know, they're, they're listening to true, true crime pro- podcasts or listening to motivational, how to make a million dollars a week, how to, the, the, I, I don't know, they're, they're things. Yeah. It's like, I don't, I don't want any of that. I want, yeah, like, no. just, to, I want to feel, I don't have any friends besides you in real life. So I want to feel like. I have other friends through the internet. Yeah. And that makes me feel like I have friends. And that, and that whole philosophy of just, you know, doing whatever the fuck I want. That's how I've always run my business. Most, like most professional porn shoots, they're fucking 10 hours long. There's tons of lights. There's 10 people there. There's all this shit going on. I was like, I don't want to do that. I want to pull off these basketball shorts I've had for 15 years. Yeah, it's crazy. And say, you're my stepsister. I'm horn. I'm horny. I am. I am horned for you. I am become jizz. The so god of coom. We, we must sex. I am. I am jerk. You are not happy about jerk. And then she says something autistic like, well, if you pretend you're not my brother, then I guess we could. And I'm like, but I am. Your stepbrother. Step. And then. Not blood related. And then I'm like, have you ever licked my licked balls before? And she's like, what are those? <laughs> <laughs> and then we, we make the hottest thing you've ever seen. Yeah. And it's, we're done in two hours. That's how I want to live. And then I want to go get Chipotle and drink zero calorie Gatorades. Yeah. Or $700 worth of five guys. Cause they deliver you All I'm 50 saying burgers is what we're doing here is not bad. It's just different. That's all. It's not good either. It's just different. It's not good or bad. It's just different. It's just. And the reality is, man, it's like for some fucking reason, I make way too much fucking money to put in any more effort for this. Yeah. I just couldn't imagine putting in more effort into something like this. It's like, it's just. Yeah. It's like, this is cool to me. Yeah. If we had like a room with a bunch of RGB lights and fucking baby Yoda Funko pops in the background and weird posters you know what I mean? And, and the professional mic set up. Yeah. And we're like, 
hey guys, welcome to the Alex Adams show. And there's like, yeah, and the noise is, whoop, 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 whoop. See, that's the thing too, is like money, guys, money's not that good. Now I love it. And I hopefully it is everything. I'm probably gonna buy a, <laughs> a GT3 in the next couple of months for minimum 60k over MSRP. But money doesn't matter. I, I like money, but I would have never even made as much money as I do now if I didn't wasn't focused on doing things in my own autistic, lazy way, just consistently. Yeah. And trying to just make cool shit that I liked. I I would have never like I could never have like just started some other business. Yeah. That I didn't like and just built it up. Like I couldn't have opened, you know, a chain cream of cream. delis. Yeah. And then Deli worked chain. 15 hours a day. And like I would have never done it. I would have just stayed poor. Yeah. It's better being poor. It is. You know, as someone who's relatively poor, yeah. it's kind of nice. It's not that bad. No. It's not. It's not in America, at least. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Having no skin in the game feels kind of good. It feels really good, actually. Yeah. So you've got it's three very kids, you got to pay for them and stuff, or they die. Yeah. And then that's, you know. I live with my but mom. But if you're just a bum that lives with your mom, like, I live with my mom, my dog. I got company AMG. Yeah. Life's pretty good over here. Yeah. I'm clinically depressed, but life's pretty <laughs> good. I mean, you play Minecraft, right? I was up until World 5 a.m. Yeah. I was up until 5 playing Minecraft, dude. I was having a crisis. Because guess what? When you're, when you're rich, there's not that much else to do. You just drive a fancier car, and then you're scared of people hitting it. Yeah. And then you're scared of getting arrested every time you fucking drive four times over the speed limit, which you do constantly. Yeah. And then you're you're like, oh, I'll eat something a little bit fancier than I used to eat, probably. Or not. Probably the same. Or I'll Uber Eats Five Guys. Yeah, I'll get Five Guys every day. Several times a week. It's cool to not to spend an exorbitant amount of money on Five Guys and not worry about it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think. And then, like, you get to, you probably the best objectively best part about making a lot of money is that you can separate yourself from the rest of society more. Yeah. You, you can, can live in a, insulate yourself. Yeah. Like, so you can live in a place where it's nicer. There's less people around. There's not like, you don't open the door and there's just bullshit going on. But see, like, even if you live in like someplace more rural, rural you could be poor and it's the same thing. Yeah. Except, you know, there's probably not, Many conveniences compared to at all. There's no yeah. electricity out there. You're just living in a living in some kind of plywood shack. But you're enjoying. You're living on the land. You're enjoying it. Yeah. I don't know. I just don't think like because there was a point where I was living on like eight dollars a day, being a neat, and I would just eat a Chipotle bowl every day. I had no money for anything else. My computer broke, and I had a, a you know my own personal company, Nick LLC, had a financial crisis. The computer broke. Yeah. So I had to go out to Best Buy and buy a thousand dollar computer. And I financed it for like 24 months. So I was paying like eight, $80 a month for the computer. <laughs> and I was back up and running. And the thing is, I'm an IT person and I could have easily fixed the computer, but I was too lazy. And I was like, well, this thing's dead to me now. And I was super happy living on $8 a day. Not that that's a good thing. You shouldn't be, you should always want to try and do a little better, but it's like, you know, I make a little bit of money now and it's, the neat, I mean, neats are kind of mega minds. To it, be honest, bro, when I see threads about like neats on 4chan and they're just they're they're uh, living good, terrorizing the wages, it's hilarious to me. Yeah, because really, they're they're kind of right. Yeah, it's gr <laughs> bro, it's great. As someone who was a neat and unfortunately was demoted to wagey, yeah, it's good, bro, because they don't want for anything. Yeah. They're just terminally on the internet, playing games, posting on 4chan, posting on Reddit consuming content constantly. Yeah. They're the, kind of the backbone of the economy in some ways. Yeah. Out of the internet economy, at least. Yes. <laughs> and we salute you. Thank you for your service. But it's like, that's, it's kind of nice. you guys enjoy the content. Because when you work for things, like, you want more things. Yeah. That's like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like me with the cars. It's like, I'm making a little bit of money now. I'm working. Like, I want a nicer car. Yeah. I want more stupid tattoos. I want, that's it, really. I don't really want anything else, but I'm not like a rabid consumer person, but you want more shit. Yeah. But like neats are like the 21st century, like Tibetan monks. Yeah. That are up in the, up in the Himalayas. Yeah. They don't want for anything. They're just, they don't really eat or drink. And the truth is it's easier to like improve yourself, get in shape. Maybe speak to a woman once in a while when you are neat. Ugh. Terrifying. You have more time. Yeah, that's true. See, that's, that's what I respect is like, I'll talk to girls on dating apps sometimes and you know, I'll be like, Oh, what do you do for work? And they're like, Oh, this. And I'm like, cool. And they're like, what do you do? And I'm like, oh, I'm a, I'm a personal assistant. <laughs> and, and like, bro, there are some girls that are like, yo, you have a job. I'm like, just barely. And they're like, that's fucking incredible. 
And I'm like, bro, they're so doing the tattoos and they're like immediately, this guy's unemployed. Yeah. They think I'm a. I'm, sells like his mom's pills. Yeah. They think I'm a snap. I'm a snap recipient and I get snap benefits every month. And I'm like, I wish I could. You could use snap benefits but on see, Amazon. You know, also though, being a wage is kind of cool too. I don't care what these people, like, I, look, everything's great if you got the right mindset, in my opinion. Yeah. Because, like, you can go to your job that we make barely any money, enough to just survive, pay for your shit car and your shit box you live in, and eat the shit food. And you can look at that as, like, a torturous prison life, which <laughs> almost everyone does. Or you can be like, I get to go to work now this is something to do see now see i wake up a lot of days and i can do whatever i want a lot of times when you for me when i can do whatever i want what what do i do guess nothing guess i'll scroll tiktok for an hour just set some time i don't have to be anywhere but you had but sometimes i mean some days i do but i think not everyone has your mindset and no but i'm saying but if you have the right yeah you gotta just do drugs at work when i had jobs (laughs) regular jobs at like radio shack and why did drugs at work and it was fine okay well not a lot of people do that a lot of people, but also a lot of people can't do that. I'm just saying doing drugs at work versus being a, a multi, having a little bit of money. Yeah. It's, it's about, the, I mean, it's just, it's, you know. Yeah. But you not, have had shitty jobs. Yeah. You've had a bunch of shitty jobs. Yeah. So it's like, you, you know, you're kind of speaking from experience. Yeah. Because you're one of. Let's see that, and that's the thing too, because I'm just thinking about that. I'm like, I don't want to go back. Don't, don't get this twisted. <laughs> thinking about going back and it's freaking me out. That's the bad thing about making money is then you're like, it really is just like. You just like, oh, I mean, this is fine. This is mid. What well, this is good, cool. But then you can't ever go back. <laughs> you just keep making. You're forced to just like keep making more money because going back can't do that. You're having like that existential crisis yeah. right now where you're like, what if I have to go? I'm saying all this shit about liking your circumstances. What if I have to fucking go back? <laughs> I can't go back. Please don't make me go back. Being rich isn't that cool, but. Don't take my money away, yeah, Jesus please, Christ. Don't take that away. <laughs> please don't take, don't take the roadcaster. Don't take the roadcaster away. But it's, it's yeah, because, I mean, I've worked a bunch of, like, shitty, wagey jobs, too. And it's like, I don't know. I mean, you kind of just, you have to just live. You just have to kind of make the best of what you're doing. And then move on to, and, like, always have it in your mind that you want to move on to better things. Yeah. This has turned into, like, a weird entrepreneurship motivational podcast. That's right. That's so it is. it's. From two entrepreneurs here, an entrepreneur right. and an intropreneur. Yeah, you know what I mean. But you preneur inside the company. Yeah, you're preneur. Yeah, intrapreneur. I set things on fire inside the company instead of outside. But I think it's just like you kind of have to like always be wanting to move forward. You know what I mean? Like do well, something and, better. And that's the thing too is like I don't know, man. A lot of these kids on, on like online on TikTok now that seem I don't know. A lot when I was their age, I wasn't thinking about money. I was thinking about money to just buy drugs and stuff. Yeah, and to just. I don't know, whatever exists or whatever, but I didn't seem like I needed, I wanted more. I wanted to like rob people. I never really did that, but yeah, well, you're for cl- drugs. Like I, I had other goals. I had the drugs, getting laid, getting in really good sh- shape, being shredded. Yep. That's it. I didn't really, I didn't career and, and making money and be a millionaire. I was like, not, I never thought about those. Well, things. you were, we call uh, an American. Yeah. You were a classic American. Where are those people at? Oh, they're dead. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I think shit like TikTok and Instagram is just pump people full of fucking like wealth porn yeah. where you see that shit all day. Because even you see it. You see it yeah, because like, I talk about that too. Yeah, I feel poor every time I fucking open yeah. my Instagram account. Yeah. It's all GG3RSs, Bugattis. Yeah. Fucking and all those cars six, suck. 675LT. Except the Porsches. They're all great. The Porsches are great. The Bugattis are trash. Don't buy one. It's a Volkswagen with more, more cylinder, more turbos. <laughs> but it's like... You know, because now you're programmed nowadays. Like, back when we were kids, I yeah. always sound like fucking boomers. Back when we were, back in our day, yeah. you didn't have rights. But, you know, it's just like. It's better than simpler time. It was. There was no social media. So it's poison. You know what I mean? It's like, even now, like, with the money you're making now, if you didn't have, like, TikTok or Instagram constantly algorithm peanut butter braining you full yeah. of million-dollar hypercars, you'd be like, my life's pretty good. Yeah. But you see that, and you're like, I'm so poor i hate being broke <laughs> yeah, yeah. my wife is bad i gotta go have sex with hot lady that's right i, I want nicer car yeah and it's like you know what i mean because it's like the internet's pumped you it's poison yeah it is and that's why it like is. even the thought of doing the weird like you know clickbait clips with the subtitles and the and the the jump cuts yeah. 
that contributes to that. Yeah. It contributes to the the zog fog. Yeah. And to me, it's like I see, you know, I'm not a jealous person, but you know, you see certain things. You I see someone like Eat the Rich. You see someone like Amaranth or somebody who actually I do respect, Asmogold. Yep. We love Asmogold. I see Asmogold and I'm like, <laughs> Just I want to be Asmogold. Why can't we be Asmogold together? Uh, yeah, you know? no, that's true. Yeah, but it's yeah. I mean, but then people see someone like you, and they're like, "It's not fucking fair." Oh yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah, it's the yeah, same yeah. thing. Yeah, You're so like, you guys look up to me. I look up to Asmogold. That's what I look up to. I look up to be able to make five hundred k a month. There's levels. Two dollars stakes. There's levels to this from shit. the Win Dixie. <laughs> And wear a dirty white T-shirt and they just <sighs> play video games. On, and you might say, "Well, just start get on Twitch." Well, maybe I will. Okay, maybe I will. To be so based, but there is that feeling of like I don't know. I guess it's normal when you're starting out in something. It's just like, "Oh, this ain't gonna fucking work." Yeah. But see, and that's the advantage I had when I started pornography, making my own. Yep. Is that I didn't have my expectations were very low of what success would be. It was just like if I could make like five hundred, a thousand bucks a month or something. Just make a little extra money, still filming for other companies. That's great. Yeah, you know. And then after a few months, I'm like, "Let's do this." <laughs> what well, grind set? Like, I was just like, "Oh shit, dude, I can really grow this." And I just kept more and more. And then now, as somebody that's making a little bit of money, it's like starting anything else is like, "Well, fuck, that doesn't make any." <laughs> yeah, my perspective of like what is. Well, I think know? is like you're like the classic kind of. And I hate that I'm saying this the classic American American success story in that like you legit had nothing. Yeah. Like, you you fucked up your whole life. You yes. were <laughs> an a failure. An immense drug addict. A big al- lazy failure. Al- yeah, drug, drug addict. Drug alcoholic failure. Kicked out of the Marines. Yeah. But like you, you know, you're smart. Like, you know, you're you know, you used to read shit as a kid. Like you're not fucking dumb. You were just a de- like a complete and utter degenerate. Yeah. And then it's like you got to that point in life, and we've talked about this a bunch, like where you had like no other options where it yeah, was like, yeah, this yeah. is my only thing or I'm going to shoot myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, and then you start, and then like you started doing that thing you wanted to do, which was pornography. Yeah. And I just stuck with it consistently. and was like, is this good? How do I make this better? Do people like this? Are they buying yeah. this video? But you, okay. And then I try to, but, but you, you know. also had the thing where it's like, and this is like where you being like pretty intelligent comes in like where you wanted to own all your own shit. Cause it's like, you could, well, yeah, well, and to me, all it's like, it's like basic shit. I didn't know anything about business or anything, but I knew like, I need to own all this. So I don't have to give any of my money away. Yeah. I need to, I'm no one important. The videos have to be good Yeah, because I'm not important. I, I have to make the content good. Um, I don't want to work more than I have to. I need to make as much content as I can. Yeah. I need to be able to do this simple and make it hot. Oh, I don't know, just stuff that seems so simple, man, but, like, a lot of people, I don't know. You know what I mean? Because it's like, mo- most people would be like, oh, I can make good videos, let me go find someone to give me money to make good videos. Yeah. And it's like, and that's how you end up having, like, 60% of your money just siphoned away to someone doing fucking nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you were like, wait a minute, how do I own the whole thing? And I think especially in, like, the, the porn industry, no one owns their own shit, really. I mean, it's getting better now with, like, OnlyFans and, and you know what I mean, and, like, many vids and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's like back then when you started, no one owned their own shit. Yeah, it was all owned by some big company and yeah. you shot for them and you got paid 80, 100K a year, whatever. And it's like, but you had that idea where you're like, oh shit, I need to, I don't want people to steal from me. I need to own my own stuff. And I think that's a lot, like a lot of people don't know that. Like a lot of the, like a lot of the chicks we shoot with, they have no conception of that, of like yeah. owning your own stuff. Cause that's how you make all the money. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, and, and a lot of people, it's not for a lot of people. Like me, I don't want to own my own shit. I'm horrendously lazy when it comes to that. Well, it's a lot easier to to do what I did when you have nothing to start with. It is. you have nothing to lose. Yeah. Yeah. See, like these guys that are making, already making like 50K or even 70K. Yeah, if you're making, already making 70K, 100K. Who gives a shit? You're probably never starting your own business. No. Realistically. No. Because the amount of time you got to put in usually and like the risk you know, unless, I mean, that's the, the beauty, at least of internet stuff is that there's a lot less starting costs sometimes, you know, a lot of times. Yeah. The entry, the entry level yeah. is the barrier to entry is super low, but also it's super saturated. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like anyone can get a, a fucking, like, that's the thing. And like, you think about it now compared to when you started to like, back then you had to go out and like buy a laptop and a fucking camera. It's like, now you just get your iPhone. 
Yeah. You get your iPhone and a and a fucking dark room. Yeah. And a couple real bad ideas, and you you fucking make content, and maybe it makes money, maybe get it doesn't. A bag of something fun. Yeah. Steal a couple of women <laughs> from the train station. <laughs> Just, we're not advocating for abducting women from the train station, please. But it's like that's the and, and by the way, guys, just all the trafficking stuff is so fucking fake, dude. It's so fake. Here we go. I mean, there's, I mean, like, there's bad people out there doing bad things. A lot of bad people, mostly all bad people. But as far as this, the videos you see on any of these tube sites, Pornhub, X Files, what? It's all fucking people are paid, or they're somebody's girlfriend, or they're like, it's all, almost all of it is consensual. Like less than. Less than half a percent might be something that's not consensual or some kind of trafficking thing. But the fucking QAnon, fucking peanut butter brain people, you know, the people that just hate porn, they hate that they jerk off to it feverishly every other day. Yeah. And eat their own cum and have a good time. They feel bad about that. They pretend and LARP that yeah. porn's like, you know, that we're like picking up people, that, that mind geeks dropping off people, women in vans or something. Yeah. Well, I think, I mean, because even now, like maybe 10 years ago, that might have been like the trafficking stuff might've been more prevalent, but like nowadays, man, with only fans, like it's such a huge, it's such a huge thing where it's like a lot of chicks, they want to do it. So it's like, you go and you shoot for a mainstream company to like yeah. get people to like, want to check out your only fans or whatever. And you do it. It's like, these chicks have so many options now. They don't need to go to an agent. So chicks who want to go to agents, yeah. they do. You know what I mean? It's not like some weird Craigslist red room, get in my van in Oklahoma and I'm taking you to, fucking arizona to shoot pornography for two weeks yeah you know what i mean so it's like but you know people are always going to be upset about things yeah and i feel like you know there are people with certain persuasion that don't like adult content yeah. i hate pornography it it should be illegal yeah it's not good but <laughs> it should not be legal in any in any sense of the in any way but you know the internet is what it is because of porn yeah it's like they had to figure out video streaming because everyone's like, I got a coom. Yeah. I got to be able to watch videos now. Yeah. And someone's like, let me figure it out. Is there money in it? Yeah. Let me figure it out. You know what I mean? But like, I don't know, man. I, I think a lot of that shit's, a lot of that shit's overblown, dude. Like, and it's, at the end of the day, man, you know, you just kind of have to ignore that shit because it's like, who, who gives a fuck? Everyone, everyone wants to ha have like a vile hatred of something that they don't really have any skin in the game with. Yeah. Like me and you with cars. Yeah. We're like, we hate Ferrari. They suck. Neither of us has ever owned a Ferrari. Probably never going to. I'm going to have a lot of Ferrari one day, God willing. Oh, Christ. I can't, <laughs> wait, can't wait for that to catch fire. <laughs> you buy it like $4 million. You come home and immediately catches fire because the battery's I'm bad. I'm excited. I'm excited. They put like some Duracell battery yeah, in the yeah, car yeah. or whatever. But it's like, dude, who, I mean, who gives a shit, man? You can't. You can't give in to the the rabid online hatred. It's just it's yeah. too consuming. Well, then you get you just get sucked into the the fear that they're gonna yeah. come and try to take take something from you. Yeah, but they're gonna the government's gonna take everything. The government doesn't they, as long as porn makes money and people can pay their taxes, the government doesn't care. Yeah, they don't give a shit. It's like you know, because then you find out that one of these you know people that's pushing the anti porn stuff is like a registered sex offender. Yeah, and you're just like, oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense now. You know what I mean? Maybe they're not. Maybe they are. Who knows? But it's like, well, see, the thing is, too, all those people, the anti-porn people, most of them, like, they're pushing actual agenda and stuff. They really just are seething and hate that anybody, like, makes money Having from sex for a living. Because they know that if they, like, try to ban or fuck with platforms, and they know the piracy's all going to still be there. Yeah. They would just love it if, like, Riley Reed or me, you know. Is, is in a homeless shelter. Yeah. That's what they yeah, want. They don't want Riley Reed in a, in a green Bentley with a tan interior. And she should be. I mean, a gentleman, you know, same same kind of spec G-Wagon. They don't like that. We love you, Riley. Yeah. We, we wish you great success. They don't like that. They just want, no, like, weird, it. like, yeah. internet criminal pirate people, well, you yeah. know, making money off of it's it. It's like all the people who hate, like, big tech. Yeah. They're like, big tech's evil. It's like, because people are making money from it. You're not. And you don't like that. You know what I mean? Like, it's the same thing with the, the anti-porn people. But it's like, dude, it's such a highly regulated industry. It's like, dude, there's mountains of paperwork you got to do. Like, yeah. intro videos, outro videos, pictures, ID. Like, it's all, like, very... Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's, I don't know, dude. I mean, it's all... Just ban it. Just ban all of it, dude. But ban social media, too. Ban TikTok. Ban Instagram. It's all mind poison. It's fine. We're podcasters now. That's that. We don't know? care. <laughs> ban YouTube. Ban everything. <laughs> Make it so you go to make it so you put on your burlap sack. Yeah. You go to work at the factory producing lug nuts for yeah. the, for the war machine, and you go home. 
That's it. You don't do anything. I saw else. a Gary Vee video one time where he was saying you could I hate get so rich much. selling rocks. He's so cringe. We could just sell rocks. Yeah. Just find sh- shiny rocks. Yeah. And pa- you just paint rocks. You threw one before. And make a, yeah. That might have been worth like a million dollars, dude. Yeah. Fuck. Now See, we're, we're not getting. Now you're not getting that LaFerrari because you threw that rock away. I hate Gary Vee so much, dude. He's <laughs> such a great. Like he has some kind of okay advice, and he seems like business wise, he's pretty smart. He's probably really smart, but like he just says shit that's so stupid. Like they had him on some podcast, and it had the same the clip with the subtitles and the jump cuts. That was like Gary Vee. What if you could do anything right now? What would you do? Like no, it's like Gary Vee. Would you rather be a trust fund kid with a hundred million dollars or someone with no money? And Gary Vee goes, I'd rather be that guy with no money. You know why? Because I'm going to be motivated. I'm going to be motivated to get that 100 mil by myself on my own. I agree. I agree. That's yeah. right. <laughs> and I'm like, Gary, that's so cringe. How? Cr- Come on, Gary. Everyone knows money makes money. Yeah. So for him to even say that is so disingenuous and bug brained. Yeah. It's like. I what- also, though, I, I do want to state, though, you know, was it Grant Cardone recently? King saying if you If you make. Less than 400K a year, you should be ashamed of yourself as a man. I am. I agree. I'm You're ashamed, ashamed, right? I'm ashamed every day. I would be ashamed too. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see it right now, but I'm so bricked up at my shame. Yeah. But it's like, you know what I mean? Like, or they said some other thing, like, Gary, if, you know, would you give up your left arm to go back and be 25 again? And Gary's like, of course I would. I'd be worth $80 billion. I'm like, all right, Gary, it's enough. He, he, he sold wine on the internet. Can we just yeah. take a moment to, yeah. he is smart though. He is a really smart yeah. guy. And I, I like his last name, Vaynerchuk, because it sounds like he runs like a mercenary group. Yeah, that's true. You yeah. know what I mean? He sounds like he runs like a, a paramilitary organization. Yeah. Like in South America, which I, I think that's kind of cool. We got to um, go segue into, I think, which is a good, you know, we kind of did a little intro about the biz, but we need to give some some tips and tricks. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to get some, in the biz. I saw some angry comment. Trying to get in the porn biz. Angry commenter who, like, pretty much wanted you to explain your whole business model. Like, he had multiple bullet points. He's like, yeah. do you have an LLC? Where do you find the girls? How do you get a big dick? How do you get it hard? How do you turn on the camera? And I was just like, bro, I can't. So, <laughs> all great questions. Yeah. I hate this. I don't talk about any of this. I know. I talk about this shit on TikTok, man. I know. I watch one of my 800 schizo TikToks. Man, you've given more, <laughs> you've given out more information about this industry than anyone. Nobody listens ever. to anything, bro. It's they like, want to fuck it. See, the, the, the reality, I'm going to tell you the, the harsh reality, guys. If you're somebody that's coming into my comments or DMing me on Instagram, and I try to be nice to a, a lot of you guys. You're way answer. too nice. You're way too nice. I t- am. It's disgusting. But if you're like asking these type of questions, the chances are you're not cut out to do any of this or anything probably besides what because you should be able to look at my con see something spend some time and start thinking like naturally if you're serious about really wanting to do something like this figuring some things out on your own i know you don't want to hear that yeah and then maybe even messaging me and about something kind of specific some little, little roadblock that's got it because if you come to me and Show me from your what your comment is that you've spent a little bit of time trying to like research some of the basics of this industry. Yeah, I'm so much more likely to actually respond to you. So much more likely. I'm gonna tell you something. I got a DM from an account on Instagram the other day from a guy who said he was in his mid 40s. Okay. So he had a pretty good meat stick. He said he had some modifications to it. That's a few years ago. Okay. Right. He says he's a business owner, owns some restaurants, some stuff. Um. He said he loves my content. He's a lot of respect. It's like a little paragraph. Okay. You know what I did? I sent him my telephone number. I said, text me. We'll do a call. Was he, the- he asked, he asked to, to pay me money okay. to learn from me. Had I said, porn. call me. I'll do it for free. You know why? Because I could tell he might actually like do this. And I'm a retard for being like, oh, I'll just tell you stuff. Yeah, why would you do it for free? Charge him. No. Because I didn't. <laughs> I don't want to stop complaining about not having a fucking F40. I knew he's like real. It's good karma. Okay. He's going to, we're operating on karma now. Ladies and gentlemen, karma profits up 800% at Alex Adams, XXX media right. company. That's right. We're doing great. Yeah. Pay it forward. We're in the homeless shelter, but our, our karma through that the man fuck- will help some other person get into pornography. Maybe one day. That's good. That man's going to buy the fucking apparel you want. That's right. But I could just 
I, I, somebody who's actually really serious and can like literally show me that they put some effort and thought into something. And like, I'm just, I'm so much more, cause I like helping people for no money. I like yeah. wasting my time. What's it? I, I think, <laughs> what's the thing? I think a lot of people that, you know, like the people you go to meetings with and like your friends should know that you're a really good dude. But like most people probably don't know that you're willing to help people for free. Yeah. Like I, you're a much better person than I am yes. by far. Cause I would charge all these people. You're a little bug man. Yeah. I would, I'm a, ca- I'm a, ca- I'm a capitalist. I'm a poor, I'm a, I'm a poverty stricken capitalist. Soon to be Mazda owner. Soon to be Mazda CX-50 owner, babe. Let's go off roading. But that's the thing is like, you're a genuinely good dude who will help people for no reason. And people who, and that's the thing is like with the, with the proliferation of the internet and all these people making courses and guides and YouTube videos for fucking everything. It's like, it's good to watch those things and get like a little bit of information Dude, 99% of the people that are going to be successful in life, they have to have, like, that natural drive to just yeah. go do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you can sit there for hundreds of hours and watch, like, you know, e-commerce or, like, stock like stock trading, like, videos and guides. It's like, if you don't get out there and do it, there's no point. Yeah. Well, and, and that's the thing, too, is, like, I love talking about the biz. The biz. I love helping people. I love the business. I love seeing somebody's... The eyes awaken or some kind of realization about something. Yeah. Which is probably just them overdosing on fentanyl or something. I don't know. Like, yeah, most likely <laughs> them, t- them taking DMT and thinking they're a cactus. But I, I, I love that. It feels good. So, but it's like, I don't have a sell a course or anything because number one, it's just violently cringe. It's a grift. Little kids will make fun of me on TikTok for it. I would. I may, I'd make a TikTok account just to make fun of you. And it's like, I know some people would get pay a thousand, two thousand bucks or something and they would get. Gen- they might become fucking millionaires from what I would teach them. I doubt it. So it's good to think but that way. But a few might. Yeah. A few might make a thousand, a couple thousand bucks. But I know that 98% of the people that would buy that are going to do nothing with it. And I yeah. would feel, as a pornographer, I would feel bad about that business yeah. model. I, because what I do now <laughs> is inherently like very good, in my opinion. It's, yeah. It's not, not everybody can understand that, but I work with consenting adults. I tell them what we're doing. I ask them like, are you okay with this? Do you like this? Yeah. What do you not like? Yeah. It's very easy. You pay it's, high, you pay high. More it's than a no most bullshit companies. product. Yeah. I pay, I pay very well for shorter shoots. Yeah. Get more views. And I'm trying to make something genuinely good that consumers will want to watch. Yeah. That I think is good and make it in a good, in a, in a simple, easy way. There's, there's no, I don't know. I'm just like selling the course where almost everyone who ever buys gives me money for it. Doesn't use it. Now that's not my fault. It's really the same kind of thing as like owning a gym, I guess, which is a, a, a parasitic thing to do, evil thing. Yeah, it's, I hate LA Fitness. I go there every day. I hate it's it awful. so much. It's a shit. It's a shithole. <laughs> but I think that well, and also because you know, like we're in an industry, and I, by where I mean your, I have no relation to this at all. But you're in an industry where it's like to sell, like you have to have a lot of physical, a lot of physical characteristics that you you can't make up for that. It's like. If you're going to sell like a, a stock trading course or like a, a Shopify course, it's like you could be a disgusting fat pig person like I am yeah. and buy that course and make money from it. Yeah. But it's like to sell a course on how to make good porn videos. Well, and that's tr- – Yeah, because I know you just say a lot of people are disgusting troll people that shouldn't be seen by anyone on the internet. It just kind and of fair is, enough. It just kind of but is. there is more than a few oh, guys yeah, oh, doing yeah. this that are – Big creatures. Yeah, no, 100%. They don't have big equipment. No. They don't look good in any way. No. And they're making six figures, seven figures, some of them. Like, Yeah. I just think it's... So it's, it's possible, but... Yeah. It's like the I biggest mean, the biggest barrier to the, to, the, to the adult thing is how do you... When you don't have money, right? Yeah. How do you find chicks to shoot with? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you got started and you were dating... You know, and you were Chad. You're still a Chad. Yeah, Molly Jane, yeah. You were dating Molly Jane, so you could shoot with her. Yeah. You know what I mean? You were doing other, like, fetish stuff where you, like, were meeting other girls, kind of. Yeah. So, so that like, was the big key, because with only having a couple grand saved off from, like, the videos of me getting pegged <laughs> in a field strapped to a dog cage. After the kids on TikTok were making fun of you yeah, for, being, yeah, yeah, yeah. for being gay. For being a homosexual, yeah. He's half gay. He's a muggle. That's right. Okay? Anyway, continue your... After those days... You know, I had, I had a, a, couple, a few, like maybe two grand saved. I had no real money to start. Because if you're going to start your own production doing, you know, any kind of porn, it's not enough money. A couple grand is not enough money to, to no, start it's, to it's pay not, models. No, it's nothing. Um, but, uh, you know, 
being in pretty good shape, looking pretty good. I would hook up with some girls I'd work with at the fetish place. Yeah. You know, and some of those girls, you know, some of those girls were pretty hot and they liked hooking up, hooking up with me for free. So I knew some of them. And then I started dating Molly Jane and she was cool with filming for very little, you know, yeah. she even wanted me to not pay her most of the time, but I would yell at her and I'd say, no, I have to pay you. This is mine. Smart me man. Me and Molly Jane would get in fights sometimes because I would spend so much time on my laptop looking at clips for sale. I didn't even know what I was doing. I was editing videos, but a lot of the time I was just looking at content, trying to understand why people were watching this. Why was this popular? Why was it hot? And just like the gears, everything was grinding, yeah, and catching little, on fire. And, yeah, the little goblins. And she would, she would yell at me sometimes and be like, oh, honey, come to bed. Make love to my titties. <laughs> You know, like, and I'd say, no, wench. But I yelled at her. I remember there was one time, like, distinctly, like, being like, no, bitch. I have to make this fucking work. Yeah. Or I'm going to work at Home Depot and fucking kill myself. I don't have triple D tits like you do. I'm fucked if I don't figure well, this get out. get some. Get some triple D tits, Alex. And I didn't realize at the time that was an option as well. It is. I could have done it's that. It's still an option. Could have went down that road. You still could. might. You could. Still might. You got plenty of time and money <laughs> to make a lot of mistakes. But I knew like I had to, I had to really make my own shit work. Cause you know, I was, you know, I wasn't making that much money. There, the, my road in the, you know, in the industry was kind of, it was, it was waning down to where yeah. it wasn't that much work, you know, or what? there was a lot of work I could have done, Yeah, but I wasn't interested in, you know, yeah, thank I was fine getting strapped down and, and, and jerked off and, and edged in, in San Francisco yeah, or wrestling trans girls in a public park. And getting pegged. Well, that's just what, fucking cool. That's a lot of stuff I enjoyed. But yeah. like some of the stuff, like I'm not getting, I didn't want to get fisted in a, in a, in a fucking, you know, empty Ugh. warehouse. Gross. I didn't want to. <laughs> that's gross. So I knew there were certain things like I wasn't taking a lot of different certain jobs. Yeah. You know? Well, I so think I was like, I have the... to make this. But so, I mean, yeah, that was. You know, because I mean, even like, you know, anal therapy, which we just started like three, four months ago. I mean, to start, just to, to, to do all the shoots for that site like the 10 that you need to, to get the yeah. content approved and then the web stuff to get the website built. It's like 25 K almost. Probably not that much. I mean, it's maybe it's, at least maybe probably it's like 20, 20, 15, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So it's like, and that's the thing too, is like, there's a lot of people, if they start their own stuff, Christ, it, it, figure out how not to spend any money for Christ's <laughs> sakes. When you're starting, Don't I don't know. It's, it's like, if you're, that's the thing is like, I was in that position of already being in the industry not any kind of important way, you know, a weird fetish homo person. Yeah. But I knew a few girls, you know, I knew a few guys, you know, like I could, I could hit up some girls that liked me and was just like, Hey, I'm just starting a little thing. My little camera will just take like 40 minutes. Yeah. Can I pay you like 200 bucks? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, cause you can't, you know, to pay a girl, you know, for, for a boy girl shoot, you're normally looking at at least like a little bottom end 600. For yeah. like a girl who's not very hot. Yeah. Is a true amateur kind of girl. Yeah, yeah. But usually more at least like 800. Yeah. And then 900, 1,000, that's kind of like the, the a good range to pay. But so, I, but these girls, when I told, when I hit them up like that, in that kind of way, like it's really quick. You already like me. We already did sex stuff. Yeah. They were like, cool. Yeah. And that's how I weaseled my in, way into making well, that yeah, work. But, yeah, cause, because you made things simple. Yeah. You know what I mean? You weren't asking them to come get gangbang for six hours. It was like, hey, come to this little apartment in Pompano Beach with a Brazilian flag hanging up. Yeah. And I'll give you 300 bucks. Yeah. And we'll have sex for, t for 30 minutes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's like. What, what time are we at? Uh, we're at like 45 minutes almost. Okay. So, I mean, you know, because you had to really, you took an unconventional route. Do you think that's do you think it'd be different if if you kind of came up in the age of OnlyFans? Like how do you think that would have affected your career? I've never even asked you that before, like personally. Like I was just shooting the shit. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know if I would have see that's the thing too, is like trying to think about getting into this as a as a just content creator. Yeah. From zero, I don't think I would have ever done that. Really? No, I don't think so. Maybe, but I don't think I would have like thought that that was possible. Yeah. You know what I mean? But to me, you know, getting kicked out of the Marines and, and fucking going on Craigslist and being like, I wonder if I can fucking do gay shit in Florida for money. Based. And then there was agents on there and they're like, yes, yes, you can. Come on down. Of course you can. It was much easier. You know what I mean? That's the way 
if you're a guy trying to get into the porn and you're straight, you want to have sex with girls, or m- at least mostly. Yeah. You, you don't want to do gay stuff first because it makes it much more difficult to get into the straight side of the industry. Yeah. But for me, it was great. Gay, gay stuff's great in a way because if you're a guy who just got a little bit of muscle, pretty lean, you got a, a nice cock, yeah. you can get into it really easily. Yeah. It's very easy. It's the way a hot girl can get into porn. Of course. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's tw- trip and then they're yeah. their own browsers. Whoops. Oopsie. But you're going to deal with the mainstream studios and stuff aren't going to want to use you as talent, really, if you've been sucking and fucking dudes yeah. for a while, They're very, as I had been doing. The mainstream industry is pretty bigoted, Yes, if you're, if you're asking me here. And that's why, that's why I really had to start my own stuff, because I couldn't, I really couldn't get that many, like, you know, mainstream yeah. shoots, you know, after being a, a big homo on the internet for a couple of years. Yeah, but I think that probably helped you. No, but in, that was, a, that's the whole thing. In the is, long run. Was a blessing. Yeah. It was all... So I gotta trust God's plan, you know. Well, th- and and I learned so much about every part of the industry. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then like now, if things weren't, you know, so discriminatory in the industry, bigoted, I'd be, I'd be doing like you know quasi gay. Con- I'd be doing like probably some bi content. You yeah, know? I'd be stacking up my stepbrother and my stepsister. I'd be going in and out. In one way, out another, and That'd back like, in another. That would get like ten views. But that's the thing. I don't do that. Well, I could get away with doing it now, but it, nobody watches that. I yeah. watch that kind of content. Yeah, but not that many. Like you relative and seven to other how people many people on the inter, on the in the world. Not everybody's kind of such a, a true gentleman gamer, like I am. That's yeah. the problem. Well, I think that's the thing is you know the circum the circumstances you went through kind of created your entire yeah how you how you wanted to make so shit. it's like. I will say if you're trying to, to, to start out as talent and you mostly just want to do stuff with girls, you shouldn't do gay stuff. But if you want to go the true Alex Adams road, you do gay stuff. Yeah. And then you, you I mean, know, I think, the you, re- and you get some, and see, because I did gay stuff and I like got into some fetish stuff. Yeah. Where there was girls there too. And then like, I wanted to keep doing both. Well, originally when I started film for my own content after, you know, being a model for two years, you know, I had a, I had a gay site, straight one on clips for sale. But I just realized really quickly, like, there was barely any money in the gay stuff. Yeah. And that was the main reason why I switched over just to straight stuff. Yeah. And because most dudes are gross. I don't want to fuck that many dudes. I'm kind of gay. and I just, I'm not into that many kinds of dudes. Yeah. You know? You're a picky Un- bitch. Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think. I, think I don't the- want to bang a, a, a chubby 40-year-old man. I don't. <laughs> I was going to say something, but I'm like. If you're that. 20 and you're ripped and you got an eight inch, a nine-inch cock. Yeah. Well, I think that's like, like the, a cat girl. Then yeah, let's run it. That's great. You look like a cat girl. Could you imagine like six foot five ripped? Big yeah. Thing, looks like a cat girl. Yes. Femboy. That's hot. That's cool. Mr. Olympia femboy. I don't want to bang like a fat plumber person. Yeah. Well, you're, uh, well, you're gonna, and you're gonna, well, I did. And I you're had gonna, to do it for money. And you're going to like it. You're going to pretend to like it on camera. But I think, I think really the biggest thing for like guys looking to get into porn is just get ripped. Yeah. Get, get, as shredded as you can. Yeah, number one is get in shape, yeah. And it's like, dude, your dick doesn't even need to be that huge. Just be... Re- yeah, and realistically, really g- you could get away with six. Yeah, six easy, inches. Easily. If you're seven inches... You're fine. Yeah. You're killing it. But yeah. just be ripped. Yeah, so you gotta, yeah, be in shape. And then... Um, you know? And you can find... It's, I, uh, I don't know if Craigslist anymore, but it's still worth a shot of checking out in LA, Vegas, Miami. Do not go on Craigslist ever. For, any, for anything That's how ever. I start. <laughs> Facebook mar- use Facebook Marketplace. Look where we're at now. We're at this public park. <laughs> <laughs> we're in someone else's backyard. We're in someone else's backyard. <laughs> we set up here for an hour and then we scurry out before security shows up. That's right. But you know, you can check and like Miami, yeah. So like be in shape. Get in as good a shape as you can, like lean. You don't have to don't do steroids. Just get a little bit of muscle. Get get a six pack. Yep. Take a shower. Every couple of days. You don't even have to do that. That's fake. Showering's fake. And then, as far as if you want to become talent, if you want to become, like, straight male talent, the biggest places, the biggest hubs for these things are L.A., Vegas, which I don't recommend any of those places, or Miami, Fort Lauderdale area. You know? So you have to be willing to just fucking move down here. Yeah, essentially. Any of the, or the, any of those three places. You have to be able to, like, pack up the fucking Toyota or get on a Greyhound and like figure out some kind of living situation. Yeah. Some kind of fake kind of, you know, random. Kind of, that's the thing too, is like even having any kind of job when you're starting out, 
as talent is a hindrance because a lot of these companies, you see how I book my shoots. Yeah. I'm like the day before. I'm like the night before. I'm like, hey, any any girls want to fuck tomorrow? <laughs> any hot girls want to fuck in my air? You're like a, you're like a suck and fuck and come jizz. You're like one of those ads you get on. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, hey, you want any want to fuck hot girls two miles away from you? They're ready to yeah, fuck. Because now I'm I mostly use agents. You know, these agents have different girls that they yeah. get shoots for, and I can hit them up, and they'll be like, yeah, there's this one. I'll be like, I don't like that one. I'll be like, what about this one? I'll be like, no, I don't like her either. And I'll be like, all right, that one's fine. I'll... That's a guy. You sent me a guy. Yeah. <laughs> This is way odder. I can't laugh. It's going to only last 20 yeah, seconds. We're going to make a real busting video this week. Some guys would like that. I would like to watch that, to be honest, but I just, yeah, maybe. It's ruin the business. Set on fire. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, that's the thing is, you know, because even like with OnlyFans, like if you're, you know, relatively a Chad kind of. And you like kind of know how to take good selfies. You could like start OnlyFans, like get on Twitter a little bit. Yeah, well, see, I mean, that's the thing too is, is like the the way things are now, with social media and OnlyFans and stuff. It's really smarter to to get in really good shape, and get on OnlyFans. Yeah, start a Twitter. We're because you you can legit even do this without showing your face. Oh, 100 percent. As a yeah. guy, yeah. Even as a girl too. Fuck shit. But like like as a guy. Because women aren't watching this. Women should not be watching this. It's for the boys. This is men only pod. Men only. Men's only podcast yeah, no today. Girls allowed. C Cigar Club podcast. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> like, get on Twitter. Shit. I don't, is, is Tumblr still a thing? I mean, yeah, they're bringing back Reddit. They're bringing back news. Make posts on Reddit. Like, Reddit. TikTok. Jerking off. Thirst traps. Do it, you know, and then maybe, I don't know, maybe you got some cool tattoos. Now, if you're going to get tattoos, get a whole, get a whole sleeve. Yeah. Don't don't with a, a stupid one tattoo. Do yeah. a, the whole mentally ill thing with this guy's doing. He's not in good shape, so it's not that's right that attractive. I'm a, I'm a pig. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a tattoo. I'm just a, I'm just an inked up piglet. <laughs> but you, I mean, with social media, you can you can grow on OnlyFans, and then you know you got, you know the big thing is Alex. I did that. I made Twitter. I got on TikTok. Making autistic little clips of something whatever yeah. with music on them and, and me saying something how do i find a woman to do videos with well that's tough isn't it that's tough that's where this whole plan falls apart isn't it so but number one if you're you know hopefully in pretty good shape you might be able to Talk to women in real life. I know you don't want to hear that. It's scary. It it's is scary. scary I that, don't bro. even do it often anymore myself. It's scary. I try not to. Women are ter <laughs> they're, they're terrifying. They're scary. But, and really, this isn't something you'd ever uh, tell a woman first, really. You, what you want to do is hook up. You want to be able to get to where you can actually, because the thing is, too, is like, if you're going to actually try to do porn as a job, you need to fuck a lot beforehand, before you ever turn the camera on. Take a good at it. You need to be comfortable with sex. You need to be comfortable with fucking different kinds of women. Different kinds of men. What a A. Even if you're not going to film, you know, yeah. just do straight stuff. You need to you need to have fuck somebody's wife while he's watching. Yeah. You need to be, have done in some a, weird in shit. In a Best Western. Yes. And he's, in the, need to, and he's in the cuck chair in the corner yeah. of the room. You need to have gotten sucked off at a party. You got to like, be comfortable with being like an exhibitionist. Yeah. Like being watched. Yeah. And, even, and, and, and like that's that. true even if really like you're just going to be filming shit in your apartment. Ideally, it's like you've done a bunch of shit. You've yeah. experienced. You've seen some shit. Done some shit. Yeah. You've been in the trenches. Yeah. In the In the... Sexual trenches, too. Yeah. Because you were like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's right. You have to have a <laughs> And I grew up, I was a fat, weird kid. I didn't get laid till I was 18. I had no skills with women. Still don't, really. Yeah. But Me neither. I got in shape, and then I just drank, partied a little too much. But I went out there, and I met, I met a few girls. I did a few things. Yep. Met, a few, met a few men, did a yeah. few things. <laughs> yeah, also that. Yeah. Both. But I had some experience, but like you can, you can hook up with girls in real life. And then especially too, if she likes fucking you, she might be willing to make some videos. With yeah. You. And then especially even more willing if she, you film stuff and she doesn't show her face, you can film stuff yeah. without showing a girl's face and make it really hot. Yeah. But you have to spend time looking at other content like that. And, you know, and in general, what can you add to the table? How can you do it in your own way? You know, and, and, and that's something, it doesn't have to be anything complicated. It can be something very simple. But you need to be able to objectively, like, look at what your strengths are, what you want to do, 
and then like what you think, what you can kind of think, like what what would people want to watch? Yeah, you gotta have some like analysis skills, a little bit. This episode of the Alex Adams Show has been sponsored by Hentai.com. They make real good content over there. We're we're big fans. Watch big fat alien worms go inside and jizz inside of people in in a coffin in a woman in a coffin we love it over there use use discount code filmed in a freezing cold warehouse in fort lauderdale <laughs> use discount code abomination for 25 percent off <laughs> on your your monthly membership but yeah i think that's the thing is like you know now it's so much more accessible to get into that stuff yeah. and and, if, and that's the thing too is like you know and if you want to really try to be the next johnny sins you want to really try to be mainstream corn star i don't blame you because i didn't fucking know it i wouldn't have been able to figure most of the shit out i know if i wouldn't have already been in the industry you know or been much more difficult yeah or i would have never thought that i could have probably yeah you know? but now there's so much more information out there like the great information i'm giving you now you know yeah thank you random <laughs> youtube commenter who commandeered this whole fucking podcast oh well, i've had a bunch of oh uh, yeah dude, I but see, the I last know. few days though kids on like people on instagram have been like because I always get these, you know what I mean? I've been like, yeah. how do I do it, sir? I'm well, you from can't. India. You can't. I got bad and news. You can't do so it. So I've instead of instead of just, you know, ignoring them, or I, I sometimes a lot of times I'll just be like, hey man, I appreciate it. You got to spend a lot of time looking at stuff and just just make this, make this. No, but I've been I've been saying, I'm on my next podcast. I'm going to talk about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so right. it's, it's a little. Like, so you get a, you get a pass, random YouTube commenter. This was, but see, then they're going to be like, oh, this wasn't a good. I know. This wasn't a good. Well, they want you to do it for them. That's what people want. They don't want to have to think for themselves. You didn't explain it succinctly enough, Alex. You didn't. You didn't lay that. Where's I, the Where's the board? Where's there, the one, two, three, four? Is there a PowerPoint that you could maybe set up for me and a spreadsheet I can look at with expenses, you know, uh, consumables you use? But it's like that's the thing is it's more accessible now than ever to do it. But that is a good thing and a bad thing, right? Because it doesn't – when something – when the when the barrier to entry is so low for something – Yeah people don't do enough research. Yeah. They don't, they don't do enough research. They don't think, they don't think introspectively enough about what they want it to be. And it ends up them just fucking in a dark room and it's filmed poorly. Yeah. And no one really wants to see that. Well, some people do and God yeah. bless them. Very few. But it's like you kind of, your like your career path was so like diverse. You did so much different shit in the industry yeah. before you started making your own stuff. So you kind of had like this broad idea. Yeah, of so like, I mean, I can see like what you know how these people do things, how terrible a lot of it is. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it's like you know, so I knew what you know, but then you at least you you I have that experience of knowing what's normal. Yeah. So then you can kind of be like, well, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. This is way better. Yeah. Huh? You know what I mean? Like this is, and you know, you got just logistics, how to kind of like carry yourself, which is just try to be normal. You should have Tre fun having sex, but you shouldn't be creepy. It's a job. You should yeah. you treat it as work. Yeah. You know, it's work that you like doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I'll even like, when I tell people my job, they're like, oh, dude, that must be awesome, bro. You're fucking all these hot porn chicks hanging out with all the hotties. I'm like, dude, I live with my mother. I go to work. I do the paperwork with these nice ladies. Maybe I film something. Maybe I don't, depending on the day. And then me and my boss get in the G-Wagon and we go the fuck home. Yeah. And that's how it's supposed to be. Because yeah. you hear like creepy stories of dudes being like, hey, you want to stay the night? Hey, you want to move yeah. you want to move out here to Wyoming to live with me on, on my compound? It's like, bro, don't operate like that. Yeah. It's like, yeah. it's a job. You're here to make cool shit. Yeah. But it's fucking work, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I couldn't imagine being one of those. Because it's like, dude. I'm in love with Emma Bug. Emma Bug, will you marry me? We love you. Emma <laughs> Bug, Emma Magnolia. We love the Emmas. Uh, yeah. They're very good. They're good ladies. Emma, Emma Magnolia, Emma Bug, Stella Berry. Anybody else? There's other women we like, but th yeah. those three, at least right now, please calm down. You're, you can be my wives. We, we can start with three wives. Yeah. Maybe get to five or six. We love you very much. You're all great ladies. We yeah. support you, queens. And that way, each of you only have to have one of my kids. So you don't have to get knocked up a bunch of times. Just once. Because I want a bunch of kids, so I have to have multiple. Yeah. yeah. Just once. It's easy. Yeah. <laughs> Two Emmas and a Stella. Yeah. That's good. But it's like that. That's the I thing. Gotta have, I got five cars. I got five wives. I got five animals. Dude, that's so much work, bro. Jesus Christ. You're going to need a bigger house. And you already have a big house. You could probably fit five women in here, which is pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah. Pretty crazy. Yeah. But it's like, you know, so when you we get to Palm Beach, we'll do 10 wives. Okay. I don't want any of them. I want to just, I want to live in the shed. I'm going to drive the Mazda up to the shed. I'm just chilling out there. It's good. I'm fishing some days. I don't even know how to fish. Who cares? 
But it's like, that's the thing is like, because you're one of the people who doesn't have an ego about yeah. anything. Like, despite the fact that you've gotten billions and billions, like tens of billions of views, and you're like the most, one of the most viewed people to ever do it, it's like, you don't have any fucking ego. You know what I mean? It's like, you don't go into a shoot. I give all glory to God. That's why. That's right. They was fault. But it's like I just know where I come from. I yeah, just I know where you come from. I should have died huffing dust off behind a Walmart. Yeah. Or honestly. fucking falling over. That's a fucking miracle. When I drank like fucking two bottles of vodka and got hit by a car years ago. You know what That's I mean? That's a fucking so, miracle. But it's like so it's know, like, I feel lucky. That's the thing when people talk about luck or whatever. It's like I I was I feel lucky just to live long enough to figure some of this shit out. Yeah. And then it was all like it was really work. You know what I mean? It was really like just focus. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then consistency consistency but it's just like i don't know man it's like all that shit's not that hard to me it's like you gotta try to make cool shit yeah and if you like making the cool shit that means you're gonna make want to make more of it and you yeah. keep doing that you keep doing that every fucking day or multiple times a week and then you make money i don't that's all i do well, that's the thing <laughs> well that's why i never planned on fucking being the most viewed fucking guy to ever do this shit but at the same time i'm also like not surprised yeah. Because most other guys doing this are fucking completely incompetent. Yeah. And I'm incompetent. They're yeah. more incompetent than me. It's yeah. kind of terrifying. It's just really levels of, <laughs> there's just levels of incompetence to this shit. Yeah. But it's also, you're fundamentally trying to explain like being a creative. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. like, it's a lot easier. Yeah, a lot of people aren't. They're yeah. never going to get it. Yeah. It's like, it's a lot easier to just be like, hey, here's the stock chart. Here's how it moves. Analyze it, figure it out. Lose all your money. Lose all your money. You know what I mean? Lose all your money. <laughs> lose your house your wife leaves you yeah you're a stock trader congratulations you're a day trader but like for you trying to explain create it's like a, a rap artist yeah. it's like me being like you'll just spit some bars yeah bro, it's me well. you know it's just feel it yeah it's me being like little baby how do you make your how do you make music how do you do that <laughs> and he's like i just got it king and he just walks because that's what yeah. a lot of creative shit is yeah. you know what i mean because i think a lot of people have the misconception like this is easy it's like dude there's so many people trying to do this shit and there's so many different like sites and different types of content especially as a dude well just and even as simple as my content is because that's why you could just think like oh i could do this and it's like maybe you could give it a shot but i mean there's fucking hundreds of hours spent even before i ever turned my camera on my shitty little 200 hundred dollar camera i bought from walmart yeah driving back and forth from fucking loxahatchee florida based fucking to get fucking Tied up and pegged and lick women's feet for a few hundred bucks. Wear dresses. Which was cool. I liked it. Yeah, it was a good <laughs> time. It's a good time. A lot of good I, memories. I just like doing what I do now more. Yeah. That's all. But there was a lot of time spent just in coming from a place of knowing like there's no reason why I should make money. Yeah. There's, I don't deserve anything. No. If I want to make money, which I do, and I want to do sex stuff with hot women, which I also did. Yeah. How do I do it in a way that people are going to want to pay for that yeah. or watch that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it was like, and how do I do it with my meager resources and make it good? Because well, I can't buy like a $50,000 camera like Brazzers uses or whatever. Yeah. And have fucking 10 PAs to fucking like. Yeah. It's I, me, Molly, Jane, a handy cam in a dark lit room. Yeah. And a dimly lit room. And that's yeah. kind of, that's the thing, but you were up against the wall. Yeah. And that's what, kind of pushes you to be like, oh, fuck, I got to figure this out. Yeah. You know what and I mean? I, and the thing is, too, it helped me, too, is, like, I, I was filming a bunch for some other smaller producers that were mainly, you know, making their own content, but they were kind of more independent. Yeah. So I could see kind of some of the things, like, it was possible. You yeah. know, you're just shooting for big companies, big, filthy gay porn companies, like Men.com, or, you know, you shoot for all oh, these big, you know what I mean, like, other companies. You, you don't feel like you could ever do that. Yeah. It doesn't seem like... A, I can't do that. I can't hire 10 people and have all these stupid lights and fucking, when you shoot for something a little more simpler, it was able to like, huh, these guys got a big house. Huh. They just post videos on clips for sale. Yeah. Huh. What are they doing? That's not, what are they doing? They you don't? can just sign up for, anybody can sign up for clips for sale. I would do this. So that, that would, it made the gears start turning. And then also like not making much money, not getting many shoots for a while and being like, I'm going to live on the street. I'm going to be in the shelter. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think that's, you know, that's the big thing is you kind of have to have a certain like 
tenacity to yeah. do any to do anything, not yeah. even just adult shit. Yeah. And this is coming from someone who's this a, episode's bullshit. <laughs> you didn't tell me fucking anything. I, I hate didn't you. learn anything about having sex. I didn't, you didn't get any good tips. But it's like you got to have tenacity to do anything, and yeah. this is coming from someone who has no tenacity and, right. and literally will just fold over and die at the slightest yeah. inconvenience for the most part. So it's like you got you got to really want to do this shit, and you got to be you got to want to like learn about it yourself. You know what I mean? Alex Adams telling you, "Hey, do this, this, and this, and this," is not going to help you nearly as much as you think it is. Yeah, like you'll get a little bit from that. Well, what's really going to help you is that you look at my video. If you can watch my videos and you start to understand why they're so popular, yeah. That, which is something that multi-million dollar production companies can't actually figure out. Yeah. They can try to copy it, but most of the time they, they don't fundamentally understand why my videos are good. Yeah. And not all of them are good, but there's a no. lot of them that are good. Yeah. They can't just sit there, watch it, and pick out things about that, about why that's different than something else, than yeah. what they make. Yeah. Because they're retarded and they're bad people. And I hate them. <laughs> We love everyone here at the Alex Adams Show. We support all businesses. And, and I don't not know why all, that is. Some, some people's brains work different, I guess. But like, because it, it, it's fundamentally like I'm trying to create something good that feels a certain way. And, and, and just things that are that simple. And even when I don't even do that good of a job, most of my videos kind of are a different experience to watch than a lot of other content out there. And you can do that. I'm not even that good at my job. There's so much other stuff. I could Kinds of content I could create in adult stuff that I don't because I'm just one person. There is... There's plenty of opportunity out there. It's all said. Well, I think if you if you get the right like mindset with it, and you're like trying to be creative, and you're able to like put some effort in. Well, I think the difference between like what you do and what a big company does is they're they're just content factories. Yeah. They're solely made to pump out content. You know, a ridiculous amount, fifty sites, twenty five sites, whatever. It's like your stuff is sucking fuck. Yeah. Get horny and naked. And come. Oh yeah, look at those big boobs. I love big boobs. She is. She's come. got a big butt. Do you like big butts? Well, she's got a big butt for you. Ejaculate. BBC. Oh yeah. Nut. 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 You know what I mean? Like, but like your, th- you know, because you, because I don't know people. People don't know. Like you make a lot of content. Like you're shooting like four videos a week, five videos a week yeah. sometimes. But it's like your stuff is kind of tailored to feel more authentic and personalized. Where a big company just wants to pump shit out. And they're hiring multiple production teams. Every time I turn the camera on, I try to think of it as a holy moment. Okay, that's good. You know when, like, the, the Jews, they had the, um, what's the thing, the, the box God lived inside? Oh, the uh, the tabernacle. Yeah, the Ark of the Covenant. Ark of the Covenant, there you go. Ark Every time. Yeah. The tabernacle's a Catholic thing. Well, they, I think, no, I think they had the Ark of the Covenant in the tabernacle. Okay. But when you were in the room with the, the Ark of the Covenant, yeah. you had to, you had to be wearing the right things, which I I, I wear a special outfit. <laughs> Nothing. You had, <laughs> you're naked. You had to be in the right mindset, grind set. You probably had to say some prayer. It was a which the word holy means basically separate. Yeah, I've always tried to look at what I'm doing is as something separate mm-hmm. and special, in a way that's, you know, early on it's not as good. It's set, <laughs> but I've tried to look at. Every time I film, I want the content to be special. I want it to be good. And often that is not the case, in, in my opinion. Yeah. But even with just that mindset of like trying to create stuff that feels a certain way, that looks a certain way, it's going to make the viewer kind of feel certain things. Even when I'm failing miserably, a lot of times the videos are still like pretty good. Yeah. You know, that was a super good, like the advice you just gave was really good. Your analogy was, I am Jesus Christ. Yeah, <laughs> your analogy was completely, <laughs> it was a good, it was actually a good analogy, but just for the industry we're in and the analogy you use, was, I am mentally, I'm violently mentally ill. Same here. We both are here on the Alex. Welcome to, this is Gregory's backyard. We love well, being here. Also guys, if you're trying to just be male talent, you can find agents on Twitter and, and websites of agencies that might hire, hire guys. You can find websites of some of these big companies that take applications from guys. Not all the time, but yeah. the thing is, you need to be in really good shape, be at least six inches, and be somewhere where companies film a lot. LA, Vegas, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. And be kind of a, a, an, an exhibitionist degenerate. There's your fucking... There's your, and then be able to work when, when... If you have an agent or a company hits you up, you go. You get your dick hard. How do you get your dick hard? Do whatever it takes. You got to take some pills. You got to do some, you got whatever. You got to look at some gay porn before you fuck the girl. Whatever you got to do, you do it. So what we're saying is it's all impossible <laughs> and just give up. Forget about it. 
Go back to your job at the grain factory. But those are those are those I'll are the things. <laughs> we'll meet you there. But that's the thing too. Is like even once you get an opportunity to shoot for a company, all you gotta do is show up, be chill, get hard when they want you to get hard. Yeah. You can usually do stuff with a girl if you just ask, like, "Hey, can I go down on you? Can I see your booby?" Yeah. Can just be polite. Jerk off. Be, yeah. Be a polite person. Get hard, and then kind of come when they want you to come. Yeah. And don't be weird and creepy and angry and fucking whatever weird to the girl and ask her to come home with you after. And then they'll probably ask you to shoot again. Yeah. And then it's 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 pretty simple. And you got to keep working. You got to work your way up. You got to yeah. keep just, you know, I mean, how often does the average like male talent for a big company shoot? How many times a week do you think they shoot? The thing shoot? is, there's not that many guys that, you know, can do the basic things to like come to an area where a lot of companies film or in decent shit. Because that's the thing, not even... There's a lot of guys, a big market now is like the fucking 20 year old, 18 year old guy, twin kid who the fucking mil big mommy milkies, yeah. you know, pick them up and 69 of them and throw them around. God, it's so hot. And that's cool. So you don't even have to be, I think some of those guys tell them not to work out, but at the same time, you can have a little bit of muscle and be lean Yeah, and be, and, and fill that role too. Yeah. And be great. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. It's better to, to be in kind of good shape, but that's why also don't do roids or anything. Yeah, well, because they fuck up your balls, too. But really, yeah, it's like you just got to be in the area, get in contact with an agent or companies, and then once you do a shoot or two and it goes okay, you'll, you'll keep getting more work. A lot of these guys, they work all the time. Yeah. They work fucking five, seven days a week. Yeah. You know, so they're making 500, 600, 700 bucks a shoot. But the thing is, working for these big companies is a grind. Yeah. You know, you're, you know, a lot of times the shoots, you know, as a guy, sometimes you're there less than maybe the girl would be, but you know, you're easily there for five, fucking six hours, eight hours, yeah, ten hours sometimes. What do you do in there? Don't fucking ask me. It's a nightmare. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. These Nothing. companies, they're setting up different cameras, they're taking different cameras down. Yeah. You you know, sometimes there's a problem with the guy's penis. There's fucking, you know, they, they gotta it's, it's what, okay. what most of these big companies shoot is is so nightmarish. Like the only I could run business like that, but I would never. That's the thing. It's like the owners of these things, they're, they're never going to be on set. You know oh, what I mean? No, not. They don't even know what the company's doing. Yeah. Yeah. You know because I mean? it's, it's a very inefficient, whatever. But anything in like kind of video production in any kind of mainstream kind of feel is a nightmare. Yeah. It's a complete nightmare. Yeah. That's why people like have asked me, like, oh, you should just like try to do some mainstream stuff. It's like to ruin my life. So I have a bad life. Yeah. My shoots are three hours long, a few times a week. I show up. I do sex a couple times. Yep. I, I go home. It's easy. That's I, I don't want to be on set for fucking 12 hours. Yeah. To make no money. Like it's. Yeah. But you know, I mean, that's why I, I encourage, you know, you know, it's, it's very possible, you know, doing the things I kind of talked about to be a mainstream male talent working a lot. But ultimately if you got a little bit of brains, you should start getting only fans, get on fucking mini vids. There's a bunch of different platforms. Um, and then membership sites, which but you have to hire some web person to figure that out usually. Oh, I want to be sick. But like, that's what like, like making your own content is just so much. It's so much easier and simpler and less work, you know. So let's let let's we're like an hour and fifteen. Let's wrap it up yeah. here. So what are the you know I guess the three main things to get into the industry? Just come semen. Fuck. 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 Alex Adams. Three main things to become. To be adult, adult talent in the male Titties, adult talent, boobies, okay, wieners. So that's female. Come now, jizz. Getting, okay, that's the five things you need. <laughs> I think we laid it out. I think we laid it out pretty good. Um, or not six pack. Have no job, so you can fly out to Fort Lauderdale to shoot yeah. whenever you want. Yeah, uh, be professional. Get your get your pee pee hard. Yeah, come when they say. Yeah. Um, be kind of good at sex. Yeah. And then too, like somehow save up a little bit of money or do something where you can not have a regular job. Cause okay. if you come down here, you, you get a sh last minute, you need to show up. Be homeless. Yeah. Be, essentially, be homeless. essentially be an unhoused person. Yeah. That's what they call them now. Yeah. Unhoused. Yeah. And then get a plan of fitness membership so you can take showers before the show. That's actually kind of genius. And they got pizza on Fridays. Yep. Don't eat too much though. Cause you got to stay yep. shredded. But I think this was a good episode. It was pretty. I didn't have to really talk. It was really nice. You said I, some stuff. Yeah, I said it was a couple of things. So I know people are gonna watch this and they're gonna tell me like, "Oh, this wasn't good. I hate this podcast. Why are you doing this? No one's gonna watch this." Yeah, I know. I I understand that. 
We both understand that yeah. very well. Enjoy. You're welcome. Good night. <laughs>